Dear students and working attendants, welcome to my the expert daily prayer YouTube channel. My name is Bob Rao from Hyderabad. In the previous video, we discussed about all the provisions related to the composition dealer. So the second type of registered dealer. So under the registration of under the GSD Act, the registered persons are of two types. One is regular, another one is composition dealer. So in the the provisions related to composition dealers, we discussed in the last video already. What are the who is a composition dealer and what are the advantages of composition scheme and what are the restrictions on the composition dealer and who is not eligible to take to opt for the composition dealer that is composition scheme that we discussed and the next topic is just i will share the screen so our next topic is how so this we discussed everything about all these advantages restrictions everything the next topic is how these composition dealers will maintain the books that is how the accounting is done by the composition dealer yeah, even in any institute you go just they will discuss, they will tell you, or they will teach you about the theory only about the composition dealer. About the composition, they will discuss some points about the composition dealer. That's all. No one will discuss or tell you how to enter the transaction. That is, what about the accounting by the composition dealer that I am taking up? You read it, you hear it, and then. That is it and learn till to be. Okay. So that regular dealers we completed already. Regular dealers may be traders or manufacturers or service dealers. So service providers. In this case also, in the composition scheme also, only some people are eligible. That is the traders, manufacturers, restaurant services that without serving liquors, without serving liquor and service providers. Okay. And now here, how the accounts are maintained or how the, what is the system of accounting in this case. So we will go one by one. First of all, we have to create the company in tally frame. <clears throat> we are working on tally 4.1. We already created one composite dealer accounting. So, so I'll go to this. The system of creating account management, creating a company is the same, no difference at all. So here, if you go here, Create, you click and create, you can create. I already created. You see that click, alter. So, this is the system that is the account. I mean, uh, company created. So, composition, real accounting, company, and everything is same. There is no difference at all. But I have taken not 24, I have taken 23, 24 because the I mean, uh, returns are filed quarterly. That is April, May, June, first quarter will take up. That is why I am taking 23, 24. So the system is the same. So accept this. This is accepted, completed. When the company is created, after creation of the company, automatically the tally will go to the upload features. Since I already created, now we have to manually go to the upload features. The second one is the second one after creating. So we have to make the GST applicability. We have to mention that a GST applicability for composition error. So we will do that. We'll go to F11. This is features. Then everything is here. Maintain accounts, bill wise entries, and this composition there also includes this with goods. So inventory, yes, integrated accounts with inventory. Okay. And here he is also a registered person. See, regular regular dealer is also a registered, regular taxpayer, regular ta taxable person. So regular dealer is also a registered dealer. And the composition dealer also, that is composition tax person, is also a registered person. The second type, first type is regular scheme, regular dealers. Second type is composition scheme, composition is also registered. So it is to be enabled, yes. But the difference is here, the difference is, first of all, here it will do the, it will show the state, by default we created the company. And in the second one, previously, it was regular. Previously, it was regular. 
by default it will be regular. But what we have to do is now that there is a composition dealer. So type of registration that is registration type is composition scheme. So we had to select composition and then it will show a message that is we are from regular, we are changing to composition. We use it for there from start. To show do you want any details regarding from the help? Do you want details regarding the composition scheme? Yes or no. Generally, we know we will pick no only and then then as we have amazing another territory will take. No, and then the registration number. So the registration number will be the same like uh, regular dealers also. So the same thing. I mean, what is this registration number there? And after that, in the case of regular scheme, it will show do you file that periodicity of GSTR1? So filing of GSTR1 either monthly or quarterly. So here, in the case of uh, composition dealer, there is no monthly filing of returns. Only quarterly we have to file. So that will take later. Quarterly only we have to be understood. Only quarterly we have to file, not a, a return. We have to file a statement called CMP08 every quarter, and we have to pay the tax at the rate of one percent for deal for uh, uh, traders and manufacturers and restaurant uh, restaurants five percent, service provider six percent. So that is why here there is no periodicity. Next come no automatically to showing the tax rate is it by default to show one percent. One percent is for trader and manufacturer. And tax one person is paid on taxable value only. So taxable value only. If you are a what you call a, a restaurant owner, then you have to take it as five percent. And in this case, in the case of restaurant owner, total turnover that is taxable, exempt, bill rated, and all the supplies you have to pay is five percent. That's why we have to select this. We have to select this and cross the date from which date it is applicable. And even if in the case of service providers, you have to take 6% and the total turnover you have to take. But now we take only 1% trader and manufacturer and on taxable value only. This EVA bill, EVA bill, in any case, if the amount is uh, more than 50,000, we have to send the EVA bill. Okay. Right? Okay. So, and then accept. So, what we did was we created the company and GST, the goods and services tax is made applicable to the composition dealer. Then we have to, then we have to regard the transactions, we require ledgers. So we require ledgers. What we require? So we sell our purchase goods. So sales account, purchase account, purchase ledger, sales ledger, and we purchase from suppliers. They're called creditors. So Sunday creditors for sales, we make the sales to the customers called debtors. So Sunday debtors, debtors. So, Sunday credit tax, Sunday debt tax, and purchase account, sales account, all other expenses, expenses, incomes, everything you will create. And capital, the business is started, we, we introduce capital. So capital account, everything will be created. But for this only, showing the accounting of this particular business, so I am not creating all. So I already created, go to alter, because the creation button you can create only. We go that, you can create. But in the alter button, we go and select ledgers to display the ledgers. If anything is to be created, you have to go to here. Here, cash is by default, and uh, profit and loss account is by default. These two ledgers will be there by default for any type of this. Now, we require the creditors and sales for purchasing and uh, data for sales. That is the ledgers we are creating. What are the ledgers required? So, first of all, we will create. This is C in the profit is the creditor. So we can purchase from registered dealer, from unregistered dealer, from any state, anywhere. But from composition dealer, so we can purchase. We can purchase from our state only because the composition dealer in our state only can sell to us. From other state, we cannot sell to others because composition dealer can sell to the local state only within the state that is intra state sales only we can make. So from purchasing, from composition dealer will be from our state only. So we will create three types. See here, first of all, first here I created the taxable, that is uh, regular, then the unregistered, uh, the regular, then composition dealer, then unregistered I created, but here will show as per the alphabetical order, that is more or less it will be something before or after that. So first one is composition supplier. See here, 
I did not give the name. Composition, I will give the name X and O, for example. So composition supplier, that is creditor. So within bracket I give, C means creditor. And the group is, everything is same. Everything is same, address, everything. Everything is same. Here, he is a composition supplier. Please tell him type. We have to select composition or composition. We have also in the register. So I have to do the registration number. Okay. Then next one is again C. Again one is Ranga uh, provisions. So this is I prepared. I created this for some other purpose. That is for taxable. Uh, I mean uh, non. I mean non taxable means bill related exempted for that purpose we are taken. So this also created us. So then so I give the name here. Sunday credit us. Give the address. Telangana, same state I am giving. And see, this person is a regular person. He may be a regular person or within the state means composition person or unregistered person. I give regular. So I created a regular. So this one is, first one is composition dealer. And this one is regular dealer. And another that is only for, not, I mean, not tax food. I supplied, I created. Ranga, uh, Regular, I give the name. Regular supplier, regular means regular person. We'll give the name. Then they create that everything is same. So, what is regular the supplier? I took on the projection. So, we can purchase. In the case of regular person and non registered, we can purchase from any state. So, I give maybe Tamil Telangana, maybe Tamil Nadu, maybe Andhra Pradesh. I have taken Andhra Pradesh. He's a regular dealer. So, we select regular and give the Andhra Pradesh number. Correct number you have to give. And here it is selected. Okay, it is over. And then another creditor. See here, first one, composition, two creditors, registered regular. And here, PRD supplier, unregistered dealer, supplier, you give the name. And this also the same thing, creation is the same. The difference is only the registration type. Here, he is a unregistered person, it is business, unregistered person. For purchase only, he purchase from business, it will be unregistered only. In the case of sales, maybe unregistered business, we sell. Or maybe we sell to may be we sell to consumer also. So that's why it is two are combined. Okay, we are taking unregistered. So we created creditors. Then we will go to debtors. In debtors also within the state we have to sell. We can sell to anyone, registered person, unregistered person, or I mean the comp it may be a composition, but we are composition, but other persons also registered, unregistered, composition also, but in every case. And we, since we are unregistered, I mean, composition dealer, we cannot ta collect tax from anybody. Okay, so I am creating the data. Excel computers is a Sunday data. So, Sunday data, and in this case, I am taking regular Excel computers. We are taking regular, regular data. And then another one is Indian enterprises. So, Indian enterprise data, I am taking the same Telangana. Within Telangana state only, we have to sell. So Telangana, and here he is a unregistered dealer, Indian enterprises, unregistered dealer. That's the second one. Second one. And the third one we are taking here. So here, that is Viru Electronics, Viru Electronics. So Sunday data, everything is the same. And here, the registration like this, composition. One registered, one unregistered, one composition. Okay. So like this. Debtors and credit tasks we created. Then purchases and sales we had to create. So purchases, it's the same thing, everything is same. So purchases, purchase accounts, and this is okay. And here, GST applicability, we have to take that not applicable because we are not showing the GST we pay to the suppose if the other supplier is only a registered person, he cannot collect tax from us. Regular and the composition, they cannot come in. Uh, unregistered and company, they cannot collect tax. So if we purchase from a registered dealer, either in our state or another state, they will give in, I mean, a tax invoice. So tax is given in that, but we will not, we'll pay total amount, but we will not show because the tax paid cannot be, we cannot be received, and we cannot get it as ITC. That is why we will not show that. GST separately under duties and taxes, we cannot show. We cannot show under duties and taxes. That means, we will not show the tax separately. So total amount, including the tax, will be shown as the purchase price. The value of the goods is taken as, the invoice value is taken, the total amount is taken as the goods value. 
That is why there is no tax duty for that. So GST taxable, it is given not applicable. Okay, we'll give not applicable. Okay, and then sales. Then we'll go to sales. The sales creation is the same, it is different. Sales account, sales, and sales account. But here, we have to show it as applicable because in the you applicable, and in the applicability, whether the goods are taxable, bill rated, exempted, because we can't collect the tax, no problem. We cannot collect the tax. We cannot collect the tax, but on the turnover, we have to pay CGST and HGST local. The CGST is from our packet, that is from our funds only. So that is to be paid separately as yes. GGST and HGST. The amount is paid 1% is for 0.5% CGST and 5.5% HGST. That we have to pay. So to determine the liability, whether the goods are taxable, mill rated, and exempted. On taxable only, we have to pay. Mill rated exempt, we did not pay. That is why, in the case of sales, like sales ledger, we show GST applicable, applicable. Because applicable means not for collecting, not payment to the government. For payment to the government, the sales, the GST is to be applicable. Mill rated or exempt also, GST is applicable. But rate is nil. Rate is exempted. And rate is some percentage, like this. We have to be applicable and no other details will you and at the end we take this. We will not give any number or anything. Just we will do it is applicable. That's all. And the applicability, taxable, mill rated, accepted, that will be due to the, the stock items. Okay. So this is created. Only for sales will show applicable. For purchases, not applicable. Then we will go to this is over and then we will go to stock items. That is inventory number. Stock items. We have to show the stock items which is taxable, which is not taxable. That is will get the exemption. So first I create Dell computers, for example. Dell computers, group I am not taking. You can take computer. No, I am not taking anything. And units, pieces I am taking. So GST is applicable. So GST is applicable. Okay, GST is applicable. A number is not required. And here, to show like this. To show like this, we have to, take, we have to specify the details here and here. We are not bothered about the percentage, but it is taxable or not. The percentage of the goods taxability is not necessary for us because we are not collecting. It is taxable or not because we have to pay to government. That is why take it. taxable. And okay, take taxable. And it will ask you the date also. If it asks the date, give the beginning of the year. Or when your start business is registered, when the business is registered under composition scheme. That date, it will ask you that date. Give that date. Okay. Okay, this is over. And the next one is Delta keyboards. So these are the same thing, pieces applicable. And here it is also taxable goods. Okay. Rate, you need not give rate because we are not bothered about the rate. Even if you give the rate, no problem. Okay. This is over. Okay, HP keyboards, HP laptop. This is the same thing, taxable. And you don't give the rate. And this one, you can Okay. And then rice we are taking. In this case, see here rice it is taken in the unit is cages. Applicable, it is also applicable, but for specific here for the rice, it is exempt, not taxable. So take exempt and you goes one minute from this. And then it is exempt. We have to show it as. The exam. Then take the salt. For example, I am giving you. So take salt. So this everything is same. So name, gauges, and GST is applicable. And here the mill rate is it is mill rated. Here, if you want, you can do the here. See here. Come here. If you want, you can do the number double one double two. Okay, you can do the number. The date is from first April. I am giving first April from the beginning of the month. Beginning of the year. Okay. And for this also, we can do the number here. You can do double one, double three, for example. Sorry. Double one, double three is taking for the first date is given, it will take automatically. Okay. And for this also, we will do the all computers. So we we'll take it as double one, double three. Okay. Double one.
This figure, double one, double two. Fill out the date, first day, fill it automatically, taxable. Okay. And what this also we will do the all the computers. So we take specific here, double one, double three. And then first April 20. And then for rice, we are giving number, we are not giving the number for rice. So for rice, we will give specific here, double one, double four, for example. And the example is given for first April only. For this is asking for this also it will ask you. Because I already did it, that is what. Then for salt, it is related, we are given a number. Okay. So we created that. This also. Now we will go how that is. And one more thing for that. I forgot. See here. And all the lectures are created, but for selling, when they are selling, we won't collect the tax. If it is collected, paid to the government means it is created as GST ledger under duties and taxes. Okay, we are not collecting. So cannot create that GST tax, uh, ledger under GST, under duties and taxes. Similarly, when you are paying separately and showing the GST paid, CGST and GST to the suppliers, you will get it back. If you get it back as ITC, then it is also to be created, it is to be taken under the same group, duties and taxes. But here, no collecting the tax, as well as not paying the tax separately, paying the total amount and taking it as the total, total value of the goods. That is why we should not create duties and taxes, I mean, uh, GST under duties and taxes. But on the turnover, we have to pay to the government at the very lesser price, lesser rate we have to pay. For that purpose, we require CGST, you know, IGST, only local. So we have to create CGST, HGST. So CGST we will create, we will not, we will not create under duties and taxes. We will create this expenditure from our bank we are paying. So it is taken as indirect expenses. And here, here, it is taken under indirect expenses. Okay, but this is to be shown as tax because we have to pay tax. So this is to show be shown as tax. That is why here, what we have to do is here, after indirect expenses, go to F12, go to tax details. Here, select the type of tax. So CGST is CGST is type of tax. And the next one is this CGST is taken under indirect expenses. But that CGST is to behave like tax. That is why we set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes. So these two take yes. And then what you see here, it will ask you after indirect expenses, it will ask you behave as tax ledger, that is duties and taxes. This is to have, this is to be, this is to behave like tax ledger, like this. If you give it yes, then select the type of tax. So type of tax is GST. Under GST, what is the tax type is? This is SGST, take SGST, it is created and yes, SGST also is created, indirect expenses, it is to behave like tax ledger, yes, and type of tax is GST, that is the type of duty. And the tax, type of tax is type of duty, this is type of tax is CGST, as SGST. So this is only, these two are created only for the purpose of CGST and HST, for purpose of the payment of the composition, this is called as composition tax because Paying the tax at a, on the turnover at a lesser price from our pocket is called composition tax also. So these are to be created. Now we will go to voucher. So we go to voucher. So we take from first April because the applicability we have given from first April. So first April, we are taking first April, it's already there. I'm taking first April, first we will purchase goods. So purchase goods. 001 we will take out first for anybody will purchase from anyone if you purchase the total amount is taken okay this is here we are taking this is composition dealer we see this is composition dealer so in the case of composition dealer we we'll purchase whatever you purchase the composition dealer cannot charge tax from us we purchase from a composition dealer in our state only but they cannot charge any tax so no tax in that that's why in this case, for example, we are purchasing that Dell computers. So we are purchasing 10 numbers. Purchasing 10 numbers from me is 28,500, for example. In this case, there is no tax. If there is tax, 
The tax is also be added. Total invoice value will be taken here. Here there is no tax. So just only the taxable value only he will give. He will give the bill of supply without tax. So that we have to do. And there will be no tax also because there will be no tax also. So we created the tax of CGSTMG. Even if we say that it will not calculate. Okay, because that is only for payment of composition tax. Okay. So this is over. So this is accepted. Okay. Realize the number. That is the bill number is one. Okay. This is one purchase. The same day, you will purchase two to five. For example, next one is next crater is Ranga. You Ranga province will take up later. A uh, regular supplier, you will take up regular supplier. So he's a regular person, whatever it may be. In the case of regular person, we have to see the tax. Okay. Purchases, we will take up here. HP laptops. So oh, HP laptops, 10 numbers you purchase. So in this case, the HP laptop we purchased for 29,000 rupees. 29,000 rupees into how many? Yeah. So 2,90,000 rupees is the purchase that is the value of the goods. But on that, we will charge, if it is 18%, for example, 18 percent we add that. So total will be 342. So the original rate is 29,000. But here, the total amount is, including tax, 342,400. So here, without giving the rate, without rate, directly go to that, 342,400. 342,200. 342, sorry. 342,200. If we accept this, automatically, it will calculate the rate also. See, 29,000 plus 18% will be 34,220 is the rate. Rate we need not give. So if you give the total amount, automatically it will accept. It will calculate the rate. So after this also, no tax, tax is not shown separately. So if this tax is added, in the case of composition and non registered there will be no tax. This is the second one. And the third one will take up five, five, for example, other person. Another guitar is unregistered. I mean, unregistered supplier. You are unregistered supplier. See, unregistered supplier. Regular. No. Telangana. And in state, you have to take as unregistered supplier. There will be no number. Okay. There is no number to Telangana. Unregistered supplier. So, purchase you are making. And we make a keyboards. L keyboards. So, 20 numbers we are taking. 19, 15. 1700 we are taking. Okay, 1700. So in the unregistered level, there will be no tax. Okay. And here, this is accepted. No S number. Okay. It is over. And another one is we will take out the same day. We take 66. We take another version. Ranga provisions. We will take out. For this purpose, I created Ranga provisions. Is a regular dealer, no problem. Ranga dealers, then purchases. And here, we are purchasing from the provisions that are exempted entries are not taxable. That not taxable rice we are taking 500 bags each bag 500 cages. Uh, uh, we will take up five five thousand thousand cages. We take up thousand cases each case is uh, each case is six seventy five rupees. Okay, this is one we purchase and the next one salt we purchase. It is bill rated. It is also. Thousand cages you purchase, purchase for 25 rupees. Okay. So this is he is a regular person. He is a regular person. He is a regular person, but still he is uh, not charging the tax because he's a regular person, but the goods are bill rated and exempted. That is why there will be no tax. So okay, like this. Accept, accept, then this is one, and there will be no tax for this also. So completed. So, purchases are completed. Okay, purchases are completed. Now we sell the goods. So, when selling the goods, so we on the purchase price, including tax, if there is tax, on the purchase price, we add some profit and sell. Okay, now, and uh, we will take up under uh, 2nd April. We are selling, 2nd April, we are selling a F8. So, for sales is F8. We are selling to the data. So, to whom have we sell? There will be no tax. So here, first of all, Excel components, Excel computers, we are selling to Excel. He's a regular person, but still there will be no tax. For Excel computers, we are dealing L computers by numbers we are selling. 
what is the price? All to, yes, to go. What is the purchase price? 28,600. So we sell for 30,000 rupees, which profit. Okay, 30,000 rupees we are selling. So in this case, so here taxable. It is giving a taxable, but there is no rate. If the rate is there, taxable and rate will be given. We are not bothered about the rate. Accepted. And now here, come down. If you collect the CGST, so it will not calculate because there is no tax at all on the CGST or SGST. That is on local sales. That is sale by the corporation dealer. So this is the sale. This is one sale we made. And then we make this is the data. Another data, one, another data is there. So this is Indian enterprises. This is unregistered dealer. No, we are not bothered about anybody. Unregistered dealer, we sell Dell keyboards, for example. Dell keyboards, we tell 20 numbers or, or 15 numbers we sell. So what is the rate? So all, yes. So we purchase for 1,700, we sell for 1,850. So including profit, okay. Take it, this is also taxable. And then because when they are creating that, give the first day of the year, then it will be okay. okay. Or otherwise, when you are purchasing, the same rate we can give. Okay. With the effect from that date. Okay, it is given. Okay. This is over. And then, next, another sales. We are selling. See here. We will take up. This is this person is. Venu. Venu or Viru. Viru Electronics. He is a composition dealer. No problem. So, we are selling to him. Sales. We are selling. HP, HP laptop, for example. HP laptop. Selling five numbers. What is the rate? See here, 34,220. So we sell 36,500. For example, so 162. So this is also taxable. Okay. No tax on this also. So this is okay. Okay. And then the next one again we sell. Again we sell to another same person. I will sell to Indian Enterprises. For example, I am selling to Indian Enterprises. Then Telangana unregistered sales. Here we sell. So here, exempt and illiterate, they should not be added in the taxable supplies. In the taxable supply bill, we should not accept because taxable goods and non-taxable goods, the separate bills should be prepared. Given the normal, I mean, regular case, regular dealer, or anybody, the both should not be combined. I will tell you why. Okay, price we are taking. We are taking 100 packs, 200 cages, and what is the rate? All Yes, so rate is 75, we sell for 90 rupees. Okay, and then so this is the exempt, it is showing exempt, and then salt. Yeah, take it is salt also 200 kg. What is the purchase price? All the yes, 25 rupees, we sell for 40 rupees, for example, 40 rupees, and then this is ill rated example, and there will be no tax. So, accepted. So, we purchased. And we sold. Where when they are selling, there will be no tax at all. We are purchasing in the case of taxable supplier. Supplier means the regular supplier only will charge the tax, and the tax is to be added to the purchase price. Total will be taken as the value of the goods. Okay. Now we come with that. Now we go to GST reports. See, go to the profit and loss account. All this, see here. All the purchases shown, all the sales are shown, and the closing stuff shown. And totally, we got net profit on 27,000 inches. Go to the balance sheet, all get one. See here, Sunday creators, we sold goods. And here, closing stock. So we have some stock in that. And here, Sunday data to whom we sold. And here, the current year profit is 27,150. See here, the current year profit is 27,150. This is the profit and loss account. And Profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now we will go to the GST reports. So display more reports. And here, this is 4.1. MSME details are added. That is why here it will show MSME reports, GST reports. There are two. That is why it is showing statute reports. If you click that, there are two reports with vision. Well, now we want GST report. We go to GST reports. So in the case of composition dealer, he will file only. CMP QA every quarter, April to June. So, first quarter is ours. So, select CMP 08. Ours is first quarter. CMP automatically says 
first April to 30 June. First April to 30 June. It is showing the total sales. See here in the profit and loss account. In the profit and loss account, what is the total sale? See total sales account. Three lakh. Three lakh eighty eight thousand two fifty. Three lakh eighty six thousand two fifty. The same thing will be shown here. Display more reports. Statute reports, GST reports, yeah, yeah. see, 3 lakh 86,000 show it. But what about you? this total tax? This is the amount, taxable amount, but this includes taxable goods, bill related goods, exempted goods. We have to pay tax of 1% only on taxable goods, bill related. The details, where you get it? Here you will get all FR. You click all FR. See, taxable sales 1%, only one bill. That is, that three lakh sixty thousand two fifty on that three lakh sixty thousand two three lakh sixty thousand two three lakh sixty thousand two fifty is the taxable goods value of the goods and here into uh point five percent point five percent is the tax state and central see thousand eight not one twenty five thousand eight not one twenty five thousand eight not one twenty five CGST and HGST okay and in the case of Exempted goods 18,000, one bill, and nil rated goods, nil rated sales 80,000. We have to show the, we have to show the sales total, all the sales you have to show, but there will be no tax. Only for taxable goods, there will be tax. For these two, there will be no tax, but anyhow, we have to show our total turnover. Okay, automatically to calculate on this only, on these two, they do not calculate tax because we selected in the beginning. Ah, uh, one percent on taxable value only. That is on taxable sales only one percent. That means on these two, you cannot calculate. Look like this. Really. And next one is here. This is filed every quarter, April to June, July to September, October to December, January to March. So after completing the quarter, next month, that is for April to June. Next month is July. July thirteenth is the last date. So, so eighteenth, sorry. July eighteenth is the last date. You file this CMP 08 and you have to pay the tax also that will be shown. And then this is sub filed every quarter and tax is paid. But after completing the financial year, that is 31st March. The next year is April. So for the April, January to March quarter, April 13th, we will, oh, April 18th, we will file that CMP 08. And the end of April, that is 30th April, we have to file another. Return we have to, this is not return, it is only a statement CMP. We have to file a return called as annual return, its name is GSTR4. So we have to file GSTR4 actually from 1st April to 31st March 24th. Total 1st April to 31st March we have to show. So automatically, every quarter we are filing CMP, the liability, and we pay the tax. So the taxable amount total, including non taxable goods also. Total supply, what is the tax goal supply we made? What is the supply and what is the tax we paid? Automatically from CMPG rate, it will be auto populated into GSTR or but purchases we are not filing anything. That is why purchases we have to purchases we have to show by we have to show manually in GSTR four. And in this purchase also, we how very purchase from registered persons from C here. Purchases from registered supplier and supplies from registered supplier. This is forward charge mechanism. This is reward charge mechanism. Inward supplies from unregistered. This is from registered from unregistered persons. What are the supplies and import of service? And for these, something will do debit or credit note also. So if there is any debit or credit note, all these are to be shown. These are all purchases and debit or credit note. This is sales, which is not operated. These are to be shown by manually. Okay. And now, after this, every quarter we are filing this. So, when we are filing this for the taxable goods supply only, we have to pay that. So, this tax we have to pay to the government here at the end of the quarter. That is, when we are filing this, this, this is we, have, we made entry only for April. But April we make entry. So, it will show here. May also in the same thing. This will increase. So, it will show total here. April, May. And June also we make entries. So April, May, June, all the entries total will be shown here. Total tax payable. So after June, July we pay. 
July 18, you have to file and pay that tax. So here, we show the payment. July 18, it will not take education. July 2nd, from 1st to 18th. 18th is the last date. You can file, you can file and pay at any time after 1st, from 1st onwards. So from 2nd June, on 2nd June, we will make the payment. What is the 1,801? 1,801.25. But generally, when you are paying the taxes, this, this everything is shown in price only. But when paying the taxes, we have to round figure. We have to pay round amount. So here, it is 25 minus 0.25. 1,801, 1,801.25. We will pay. Okay. Now, how to show? So when you are making the payment, so go to voucher. That is 2nd July. We will make the payment. Entry is payment entry. So payment entry we will pay. But whenever you are paying any tax, you have to pay through bank only. So cash they will not accept. So State Bank of India, we will take what you are paying, CGST, that is CGST created under CGST. So this is created under indirect expenses. So that indirect expense will be shown in the profit and loss account. Okay, because it's not so duties and tax will be shown in the balance sheet and the liability side. But it is not duties and taxes. Here, what is the amount? Thousand eight hundred and one thousand eight not one so thousand eight not one cgst then sgst thousand eight not one you see here you see it is showing debit balance isn't it this debit balance will be means the expense it will be shown in that so eight thousand eight not one so how you will pay check by check you will pay so check number we will give otherwise if you pay in another order see here e funds transfer e funds transfer you pay so, the e first transfer account number will not give. Here, instrument number, instrument number we will give. NEFT, for example, NEFT or RTGS. So, that we can get. In the case of check, we will be the check number. So, payment is made. Okay. This is how we will make the entry. So, here. Now, if you go to balance sheet, the profit and loss account, balance sheet will be the same. Profit and loss account, see here, F1. Here, all these are shown. Already we see that. But now, see extra. In the, the taxes paid, the, in the expenses from our back we are paying. So it is showing in the balance sheet. I mean, profit and loss account. Indirect expenses, CGST, HST, those in that the expenses we paying, so profit to take this. But in the case of balance sheet, in the case of balance sheet, we are paying through bank. Bank balance will go down. Here there is no balance. So it is showing as minus. In the case of regular, we create the CGST, HST under duties and taxes. In such case, it will not show you the profit and loss count. Here under standard liability, usage and taxes. If it is liability, show the amount. If it take if the ITC is more, it will show minus value. Okay. So this is how we will do this. The accounting for the accounting for composition is the very simple. The next topic is still more simple. Just like this, but still more simple. Okay. So with this, we close this session. And the please. Many people, they are watching the videos but not subscribing. Please subscribe to the video ch channel and then click the bell icon. Select all. You will get notification for all the videos which I upload and share my channel with many with all your friends and others who want to learn character. Okay. And watch every video till the end. Don't skip in the middle. Watch till the end and then if it is good, you like the video. If you like it, the YouTube will send this video to many people. So many people will understand this, will know. And also, I'm running online classes also for Ali Prime, GST, etc. So if you are interested, you can contact me. My number is given on the company. You can contact and we can join the classes. I wish you all the best. So we'll meet in the next video. Bye.